During this video, I'll refer to three adjustments of the control knobs. Turn, press, and press and hold. Once the desired setting is achieved, wait 10 seconds for the display to go dark or press and hold the edit knob for two seconds. You may also immediately exit by simultaneously pressing both the edit and volume knobs. Because the F1 is programmable and automatically save settings, let's begin with a simple procedure to restore the original factory settings and default values. Press and hold the edit knob while plugging in the guitar. Continue to hold the edit knob and press the volume knob. Release both knobs and your factory settings have been restored. Next, let's start by tuning up. Once you're plugged in, simply press and hold the volume button till the one appears. Your tuner is now engaged. To turn the tuner off, simply press the button again. This function can be used while the guitar is unplugged as well. The digital chromatic tuner accommodates all tunings and mutes the output when engaged. It can be activated without an instrument cable connected, in which case it turns itself off after 90 seconds of inactivity. Next, let's turn up the volume. Simply turn the volume knob to a desired level. For the cleanest noise-free sound, set volume as high as possible without causing your amp or mixer to distort. Now let's blend the pickup and the image. By turning the edit knob, you can adjust the amount of aura image versus the under saddle pickup. For live performance, try setting the image blend to 65% pickup. For recording, try blending in more image for a realistic acoustic sound. To select an image, simply press the edit knob and the letter I is displayed. Nine world-class microphones were used to create the F1. Stop at each number and explore the image. The F1 is factory loaded with images created especially for this instrument. Each image corresponds to a different microphone type and position. Now that we've selected the image, let's adjust the tone of the pickup. Press the edit button twice to access the treble control. Again for mids. A third time for bass. Now that your tone is set, press the edit knob again. An X is displayed, which indicates an additional opportunity to perform the blend function between the pickup and the image. By pressing the edit knob again, we enter the compressor function. By turning the knob, we increase the amount of compression, making softer notes louder while controlling your overall playing dynamics. The F1 features a sophisticated search and destroy anti-feedback system that is activated by pressing and holding both knobs simultaneously. This automatic anti-feedback circuit can apply up to three separate notch filters, which are precise and reduce the problematic resonances associated with feedback. If you choose to deactivate this feature, simply press the edit knob once after setting your compressor level. When the letter A is displayed, turn the knob to O for off. While the anti-feedback control is very effective, it's best if you spend some time while setting up before a performance and catch any issues before you begin to play. With some practice, you'll find you can also use it to fix any resonant notes that may stand out in a particular venue. In addition to the anti-feedback system, the F1 features a phase switch. Press the volume knob to toggle between in phase and out of phase. Press the volume knob once to access a separate set of tone controls for the R image. These controls are indicated by a lowercase t for treble, m for mids, and b for bass. 
We'd like to thank you again for making us a part of your musical journey. We're sure that you'll find the experience of the Performing Artist Series to be inspiring, both as a player and performer.